OK, so we're doing Venn diagrams two from my eye maths and we're on question two, uh, cats and dogs. A hundred pet owners were asked if they owned a cat or a dog. Forty one of them owned a cat altogether. Now, that's slightly misleading wording. What do they mean by owning a cat altogether? Um, you know, do they mean as opposed to owning half a cat? What they mean is uh, there are 41 people uh, altogether that owned Maybe maybe they just owned a cat. Maybe they owned a dog as well. So in the whole circle for cats, there are some people that just own a cat. Some people that also own a dog. And all together, that makes 41 people. So you can't just put 41 in here because that would be saying that 41 people only own a cat. But what this is saying is 41 people uh, own a cat of which... Some only own a cat, but some also might own a dog. 74 of them owned a cat or a dog or both. So the whole combination, or to use the proper terminology, the union of the two sets, anything that's inside um, the two circles. So people who own just a cat, people who own just a dog, or people who own, who own both in the middle, all of that adds up to 74. So we can't put that in the Venn diagram yet because we don't know how that breaks down. 19 of them owned a cat and a dog. Well, we can put that directly in the middle. 19 own a cat and a dog. Now we can go back to the 14 people that owned a cat. So four, not 14, 41 people rather. The 41 people who owned a cat. So 41 people owned a cat. So there's 41 people inside the whole of the cat circle. Now, 19 of them also own a dog. So 41 minus 19 gives you, what does it give you? 22. So there are 22 people that only own a cat. OK, um, now we can think about the 74 people that own a cat or a dog, or both. So there's 74 people in the union of the two circles. And we know that 41 of them are here. 22 plus 19, 41 that own a cat. So if you subtract the 41, you're left with the 33 over here that just own a dog. So it's just a question of placing the information in the Venn diagram in the right order and having to deduce a couple of things. Uh, we've still got something out here. So, so what about people who neither own a cat nor a dog? All right. Well, uh, so far we've got 22 plus 19 plus 33 people. So that's um, making 74 people. I make that. Um, and. It says the whole thing was about 100 pet owners. So 100 pet owners were asked if they own a cat or a dog. 100 minus the 74 that do own a cat or a dog gives you 26. So there must be 26 that own neither a cat or a dog, but since they're pet, pet owners, own something else. Um, snake, maybe. So find the probability that a pet owner chosen at random owns neither a cat nor a dog. So that's 26 out of the 100. Uh, let me just make myself a bit of space here. Uh, get rid of all this. So there's 26 out of 100 that neither own a cat nor a dog. Um, we should simplify this fraction. So um, I can see that we have a common factor of 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 over 2. So I'm not dividing by 2. I'm dividing by 2 over 2, which is like just dividing by 1. So the, the number is not getting any bigger or smaller. It's just getting written in a um, more compact format. So 26 out of 100 is 13 out of 50. So we'll put the simplified fraction 13 out of 50, neither own a cat nor a dog. What's the probability that somebody picked at random owns a dog? 
OK, so you've got 29 plus 33 that own a dog out of the 100 people. So that's 52 out of 100 that own a dog. But that can be simplified. Uh, 52 and 100 have a common factor of 4. So I'm going to divide it. I'm not dividing it by 4. I'm dividing it by 4 over 4, which is like dividing it by 1. So it's not getting any bigger or smaller. And that gives me 13 over 25 as the simplified fraction. 13 on the top, 25 on the bottom. OK, uh, what's the probability that someone picked at random owns a dog but not a cat? So there's 33 people that just own a dog. 33 out of the 100. 33 and 100 don't have any common factors. So we can mark that and see how we got on. 8 out of 8. Fantastic.